Hello everybody. In this video, I am talking about Keyclock Admin Console. Admin Console is used to configure and manage different entities and implementations such as identity, users and groups. On the left pane, you can see all the available sections under the Admin Console. In future videos, I will be talking about each section in detail. In this video, I am going to explain the functionalities of these sections briefly. Currently, I am in the realm setting section. Now you might be thinking, what is a realm? A realm manages a set of users, credentials, roles and groups. Realms are isolated from each other and it can only manage and authenticate the users belonging to the particular realm. Realm settings has many tabs such as login, keys, email and so on. You can see them here. I will talk more on these things in my next video. The next section is client section. Clients are entities that can request Keyclock server to authenticate users. Under client section also, there are many subsections. Next sections are client scope and roles. In future videos, I am going to talk on those sections as well. Now I am going to the identity provider section. From this area, it is possible to integrate different types of identity providers. You can see here, Keyclock supports SAML, OpenID Connect and many social logins providers such as Google, Facebook and GitHub. Also, Keyclock can federate users from external databases. You can do that using user federation. By default, it supports LDAP and Active Directory. But if you want, you can create a customized connector for any data store you prefer. The next section is Authentication. Here we can create different types of authentication flows as you can see here. In addition to these features, it is also possible to manage users, groups and sessions using the functionalities provided under Manage section. Finally, using the last sections, you can log events and see them. Also, you can import and export different configurations such as users, clients and realm configurations. I hope now you have a basic understanding on the admin console and I will be going through each section in future videos. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.